Okay, so I have my little thumb throttle here that's going to control our uh, little voltage controller for the motor. So, first I need to go ahead and remove this horn on the end, the hand grip, and then I gotta decide if I want the throttle between the hand grip and the shifter or between the shifter and the brake or on the inside. But it'll be in one of those three spots here. So I got the uh, hand grip off with uh, just some soapy water and a pick. Um, and I decided that I was going to go ahead and put this on the uh, inside of this side between the shifter and the brake because the shifter is kind of part of the handle bar grip uh, in this situation. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, slide this on here and I did move the brake down and then I'll just go ahead and put the shifter and everything else back on here and then get it all tightened back up and then that should look pretty decent. Okay I got the handlebars all back together, we got our grip here, we got our shifter, brake is still that's a little sticky, but it's accessible. Uh, I gotta clean the cable up a bit. But uh, our thumb throttle is going to work pretty good right there. Uh, that seems like a good spot. That's also a little sticky. That could be interesting. Anyway, now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tin up these uh, wires with some solder that are our leads into the electric motor. And then... I'm going to go ahead and hook them in to here and here. Uh, basically, it's just like uh, like power leads on a like an amplifier in a car. So I'm just going to screw those down there. And then um, the input, that'll be our leads going to the battery. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and splice these wires here and then run those over to our thumb throttle. Okay, I got the uh, motor wired up and the battery leads wired up on the end of the controller here as dictated on the side of the board. Um, so now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, throw this clamshell on over it and zip tie it down to the frame and then we'll go ahead and wire up the throttle. Okay, so I did some research on this after I did some testing for the e-throttle I had all three combinations of the wires that I could have used and I had written down everything I needed. Um, turns out <laughs> it doesn't work because this is designed for a system um, where there's actually little magnets in there that's called a Hall effect sensor so it needs positive and negative voltage um, and then it outputs so I take in 5 volts and it outputs somewhere between usually well, theoretically, zero and five. Um, but, uh, so that's for a more fancy uh, controller, specifically for e-bikes. This is just like a universal one. Um, like, people use them for all sorts of things, like Arduino and little motors and a whole bunch of stuff. But it can control a bigger motor like this. Uh, but the little uh, speed adjustment that came with it, it's like an old stereo. It's got a a click, that's your on off, that's the two leads on the back, and then the three in the front are just a variable resistor or a potentiometer with a wiper. Um, so since that's just changing resistance and this is dividing voltage, um, they're not going to work. Uh, basically I was just getting half speed from this no matter what I did, whereas this works perfectly fine. So um, I could create some sort of uh, like spring-loaded thing that works off of a throttle or whatnot if I really wanted to but I mean it's a pretty low speed vehicle so I think what I'm gonna do is just remove this uh, throttle and then save that for a different project and then I'm just going to uh, epoxy or glue this pot up onto the uh, to the handlebar next to the brake so uh, that should be good enough to get it going and then um, I guess we'll just kind of go from there all right, I got our wiring finished up here. Um, we still got our little uh, potentiometer here. And then I just ran the cables down here. Got everything zip tied up for now. So that's good. This is a zip tie for now because I didn't have any good uh, adhesive laying around. So I'll have to go get some. But that will be a little more hard mounted right there. 
but uh, I'll go ahead and do a little test run here to show you guys how it all works. Okay, I got this stacked up on wood kind of precariously, but it should keep it from uh, taking off on us. But I just got a little uh, scooter battery on here for the moment. Um, this is half voltage, so it's about half speed of what it'll do. But you'll be able to see how it works. And then if you want to slow it down. Yeah, and that's pretty much all there is to it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll see the next video that comes out, um, which should be next Sunday. And I think we'll just wire up a couple of batteries, uh, toss them in a backpack, and then go do some runs with this bike. And uh, it'll be a little iffy because it's just been super icy, but uh, hey, we'll see what happens. All right, see you guys next week.